Okay, we're going to be looking at measures of spread of uh, uh, a distribution, so a statistical distribution. And we're going to be looking at variance today as a measure of that spread. So as you can see, I've got a normal distribution here, and it can be relatively more or less spread out depending on what the statistics are like. So variance is one of those things that can tell you how far apart all the observations are from the mean. So, pretty simple. We start by finding the distance of a data point from the average. And so we're going to use mu to represent the mean. That's Greek, like a Greek letter mu, representing the mean. And x is the data point. And so let's say I've got a load of square bales that I want to load in uh, Chesley, Ontario, and I want to send it to uh, Kentucky. Well, uh, if on average the, the bales weigh about 600 kilograms, and I have a bale that weighs 630 kilograms, the distance of that data point from the mean is negative uh, 30. That's right, you probably guessed it already. And so here is how we're going to do this. I've given you a bunch of bale numbers and weights, and I'd like you to copy them into a spreadsheet. Now that's pretty straightforward. You just have to copy and paste from the web page into the spreadsheet. And what I would like you to do is I would like you to calculate the mean or the average of all of those data points so that we get our mu. So on this particular spreadsheet, which isn't much different from the others, you do it by using the equals average command. And then you either highlight or type in all of the cells in the range that you would like to calculate the average for. And that's how you calculate the average. And then we're going to be go about calculating the distance from the average in this column. Now, there is some important spreadsheet stuff that we need to get straight. And that is relative cell addressing, not cell addressing, versus absolute cell addressing. Some of you might already know this, but it's important that you know how to use a spreadsheet. So just be careful. All right, so my average weight is in cell B32. And what I want to do is subtract that from the weight that's here in cell B2. Notice that I've typed in cell B2, which is pretty straightforward, and then subtract. Now I've put a dollar sign around the column indicator B, and I put a dollar sign, sorry, not around, but in front of the cell number as well. That's important. This is called a relative address because when I type in B2, really I'm just saying take the cell that is in this position relative to cell C3. In other words, take the cell beside C3 and subtract. This is my absolute address because I've used dollar signs to anchor the column and row number of the cell B32. And it's important for this reason. When I go and use edit fill down, and so I'm doing edit fill down. There's uh, generally similar commands. As you can see, this cell is now B3. In other words, it's changed because the cell the formula's in has changed. But this cell, B32, has not because I put dollar signs around it. Now, when you're done calculating all the deviations in this col column, I would like you to calculate the sum of deviations down here. And I have a question for you. What do you notice about the sum of all of the deviations from the mean when you add them all together? In other words, what's the result of that cell down at the bottom of that deviations column? 